Hey guys, Reverse here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. And I'm finally back once again. And today there is a new update for the game. Which we're going to be going over very shortly. First, I want to kind of look back to the part where me and good old buddy Gengar were in Japan. In Ishinomaki. We uh, we went to visit there alongside with Trainer Tips. Nick from Tra Trainer Tips was there. Benton One was there. I did a whole vlogging series of that. I'm going to leave that in the description down below for you guys to check it out. But the reason why I'm mentioning this is because today finally we found out how much did the event bring to the area itself and uh, the profit of the event it, it today it came out that the city of Ishinomaki pulled in uh, 20 billion yen which is the equivalent of 208 million dollar and uh, over a hundred thousand visitors went to see the area and that on itself it, it makes me very happy that the uh, Pokemon Go helped um, getting so many people to the area. It's, it's a really awesome area. Uh, definitely recommend you guys, if, if you're ever in Japan, go visit Ishinomaki. There's some good people out there. It's really fun. They, they, it's such a fun city as well. And good food as well. So definitely check it out. $208 million. That is honestly really insane. That's going to help so much with the rebuilding of, of the area. And I'm just so humbled that I've been a part of that myself. So yeah, really such an amazing feel, a feeling of appreciation for everybody who has been partaking in there. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description down below. So the new update has finally dropped and it's a small update. But then of course there's the data mining which has already been done. So I'm going to be covering everything about this update so on the visual side the side that has been announced Niantic said that there's a bug that has been fixed uh, which caused a incorrect vibration notification so um, Pokemon's would like pop up and your your phone would end up shaking all the time uh, that has been fixed uh, very nice stuff uh, day and night is more accurately shown inside of the game so it actually shows whenever... It, I think it's based on local time now, I guess. And then the uh, minor tax fixes. So it's really small. Um, yeah, this, this sucks. It's really, really small. Then there was a rumor that um, Pokemon Go, the uh, the Apple Watch thing, that that was off the table. The Niantic put, uh, has been posting on, on Twitter and Facebook, I think. And that is not the case. It's very much still being in the works. And then in the data of this update, it actually shows the Apple Watch code that it now appears uh, inside of the game. So uh, Pokemon Go will have Apple Watch support in the very near future. It is uh, pretty interesting. I have no idea how it's going to be working out. I'm pretty sure that someone with an, uh, with an Apple Watch will be able to share with us very soon what the what the findings are, what is the difference between uh, using the Apple Watch and the Go Plus. That's of course uh, the biggest question, What what's going to be asked. Can you use them together at the same time? We're going to be figuring that one out very, very soon. Then new avatar customizations will be added inside of the game very soon. Gloves and socks will be added as well. So I'm assuming in the very, very near future, you will have the ability to change your hair and backpack and stuff. Now also gloves and socks. I don't know, socks, you, you bear, it's like, two pixels i guess um time of the day tweaks as announced the app will use local time when dictating whether it's day mode or night mode when it's going to be occurring this is interesting when considering the potential day slash night specific spawn mechanics that may appropriate for some future species so of course it, it's very important for umbreon or uh, Espeon, because Espeon is, is transforming during the day if you get enough happiness inside of the Pokemon games. Now what I'm thinking is, your chances will be higher throughout the day to get an Espeon, and the chances will be higher throughout the night uh, to get an Umbreon. So that is, uh, to me, I'm personally very exciting. More support for shiny variants on uh, and Pokemon gender. So. You have female shiny sprites and male shiny sprites. For some Pokemon, the male version is different than the female version. So that's going to be very exciting. Still, I, I would love to see um, if a 100% IV Pokemon, if that were to be a shiny, that'd be so amazing. 
so that's just my personal take on that. Uh, just shinies in general. I honestly hope they're gonna be individual because that's gonna be awesome. If 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 you see a cluster spawn and you with your friends are there and you happen to be finding that shiny, that honestly be really really insane. Anyway, that's basically it for this update. It is a small small update. I'm I'm assuming that shiny. Pokemon is the next big thing that's going to be added inside of the game. I hope before the end of the year. I hope it is a Christmas event that uh, maybe the increased spawn of, of shiny Pokemon. Um, honestly got no idea how that's going to be coming around. I have a announcement to make for the channel. I want to share it with you guys right now. I'm happy to announce that starting tomorrow, I'm going to be introducing a series onto the channel for Pokemon Go. I know I haven't really been making a whole lot of Pokemon Go content, but this should definitely be making up for it. And uh, the series that I'm going to be introducing is officially the road to level 40. My goal, right now I got 1 million experience. I still need 4 more experience to level up to level 40. That's gonna take me some time. But the plan is to try to do it before the end of the year. Little over 11 days. I will have 11 days tomorrow to try to accomplish uh, this feat. It's, it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be hectic. But I'm dedicated. I'm excited. I really want to reach level 40 before the end of the year. So I invite you guys over in the comment section to give me your suggestions, give me your ideas. How would you like the video to be? Of course, there's going to be some vlogging, there's going to be egg hatches, there's going to be cool catches. But would you guys like something like a fact of the day or would you guys to showcase statistics? Like, let me know in the comment section down below what you have in mind for this vlogging series and I will definitely take your opinion into consideration. Also, if you see a comment of someone else that you like, be sure to give that comment a like, so that way it will be bumped up and that way I will see it faster. So with that in mind, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Hope that you guys are excited. I'm gonna keep you guys updated with everything Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go is not gone. I'm gonna make you promise with you guys. Throughout the entirety of 2017, Pokemon Go will be the main game on the channel. Throughout the entirety of 2017, I'm gonna make a video addressing this because I had like 200 people unsubbing because of the Super Mario run. And honestly, I feel, you know, I'm just gonna address it now. You know, I am the content creator. I make these videos for free. You're not paying a single dime to watch these videos. Yet people still feel that they own me. They, they are still like, hey, you know, you should not do this because you are that. No, I decide what I am and I've decided, hey... Pokemon Go is the, the biggest thing on the channel that I'm covering. And there's going to be other games. And if you don't like it, then tough luck. It's going to be there. There's no point in complaining. I'm not going to be uploading it to a second channel or something like that. I just want to focus on this channel right now. And honestly, that's going to be non-negotiable. So if you don't like it, then I'm sorry. Uh, but just watch whatever you feel like watching. There's no need to, you know, complain too much in the comments about that. Um... I'm just going to focus on, on doing me, you guys focus on being you, and I'll try uh, from the bottom of my heart to always provide the best possible content on this channel. So with that in mind, just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, thank you guys so much for your support, thank you so much if you left a like on this video, and this is the reverse for Pokemon Go. I'm going to be signing off, it's good to be back, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh yeah, and to add to that, I will actually uh, release a video with a bunch of egg hatches uh, very soon. I actually did some egg hatches, so that video will be up before the road to level 40. Hope you guys are looking forward to that.